morning guys i hope you guys are doing fine and doing well i actually wanted to make this video because <laughs> it's a little bit dark and i cannot show the kid um i just took my son to daycare this morning and this side is the daycare with the kids and this side is the kids that have are starting um are starting preschool yeah preschool because my son was chosen uh, because he's like five years you have to start when you are six but fortunate enough he was chosen to start already which is so amazing so guys in this video i wanted to talk about um daycare in finland and i actually wanted to do this video while i was waking up with my son and getting him ready unfortunately i had so many things i was doing this morning and some i had i i, I was answering some questions from my group yeah 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 blah 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 you don't want to know that anyway it's spring now in finland spring summer autumn winter it's autumn it's autumn it's not spring it's autumn so um i have people who are following me that's the take this is our daycare i live in psmaki so psmaki is like a village and i guess because maybe because it's the morning that's why it's a little bit dark uh, but that's the daycare um and this is where i live which it's just a daycare place daycare is house uh, to the daycare now let's get into the video and what i wanted to talk about so guys this week which i think this is going to be the first video i'm going to post <laughs> this week i'm going to be posting two videos per day and i'm going to tell you about finland um i'm going to tell you how you apply if you are living out of finland you want to apply and you want to come and leave finland have free education and i'm going to be teaching you a lot about finland so we start with the daycare the daycare is free the daycare is free of charge food the child doesn't carry food uh, i don't know how i look but i don't care i just don't care uh, free food is free uh, for the child you don't pay nothing you just take the child to daycare but here is a catch if you are a student you don't pay anything for for your child to go to daycare and uh the daycare i use for my son my son goes to daycare at at eight or half past eight because right now it's half past eight finish time he goes to school at eight and then he will come back at four o'clock the daycare is closing at half past four so at half past four i have to fetch him and for me i'm not paying anything but his father is paying a i don't know how much he pays a year but i don't think it's over four thousand rand or like 200 euros one year i'm not sure or it's too much so they calculate um according to your excuse me according to your salary you know if you i think if you're getting more high pay maybe you pay a little bit higher i'm not sure but the system is so good because for a person like me at the at, at this moment i'm just trying my youtube and i'm trying social media i'm hardly making um enough money to even make uh, my own uh things possible so i mean it's very good when i was in school i was in school for three years and my son i wasn't like thinking or i mean i wasn't like frustrated financially about my son going to daycare i didn't have stress he eats there he does everything and yeah education in finland is free and it's free to everyone but i am gonna tell you how everything works and how you can uh, come here and then when it comes uh, also on diapers if you have like a like not i <laughs> say a sign if you have a baby your baby's like seven months i don't remember how old they take the child because i took my son there when he was 11 months i wanted to stay home with him so if you have a baby your child is like seven months or still uses pampers uh, you don't buy them when you're taking a child to daycare yeah <laughs> Just, i mean the daycare does have their own uh diapers uh, mm, but yeah you can put some but they also uh, have their own diapers that they can change the child with they have um so many other stuff of course if the child is sick they do call you that you fetch the child there are some rules if a child is having a flu it's in south africa sometimes if a child is having a flu and uh, a flu and the mother want to go to school or my mother want to go to work you can still take the child in finland they are quite strict with that you cannot take your child to daycare if your child is not feeling well they will call you and 
give you the child back because they are saying that you are exposing uh, the, the the sickness of the child to other kids. So you have to stay at home with your child. Uh, since this is a law, so you just tell the school, you give the school the letter that, hey, I have to stay home with my son because he's not feeling well. And obviously he's not allowed to go to daycare. Even us in, in normal university school, if you are feeling like you have flu, you are not allowed to come. Flu is not allowed to come because you're going to be exposing to other people. It's not because there was pandemic because right now some people will be thinking, yeah, there was COVID. They think, no, no, no. Even before COVID and I've been living here for 10 years. So it is what it is. If you're not feeling good, you have to stay home. Even if you have headache, you have to stay home. Uh, they are just like that. And in terms of education and everything, they are amazing. You guys in there are amazing. Uh, also in daycare. Uh, in Finland, um, I would say 95% of the staff that are hired to look after the kids, they study for it. They went to school for daycare. Uh, from the chef in the kitchen who's cooking for the kids, they've been in school. Unless, I don't know, I don't even want to say unless, but because in Finland you even study for cleaning. You have to be professional in everything. And you get paid very well if you have been studying for the thing. So a lot of people, they invest on going to school first so that they can have a very good salary. So if the, the school is trustable. Uh, if your child is 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 hitting other kids in school, they, ca they call you as a parent and tell you. Uh, I think once or twice a year, parents are called in daycare and they will tell you how your child is doing. It's something that they do. They will send you a message one week before. On Tuesday, please come as a parent. We want to tell you how the child is doing. And they will tell you that the child was hitting other kids and you should stop hitting your child. Because, honey, most of the times the kids that are hitting other kids is because they are also getting hit at home. Uh, I used to pinch my son, especially here, uh, when he does something and he started doing to other kids. So I had to stop because the daycare told me, Uguti, as a parent, we want to tell you that the child is doing this. And I was honest with them. Uh, he, the, the father of my child was there too. And I was like, yeah, I'm the one who was doing that to him. Um, and then they said, you should stop because now he's doing it to other kids. And I did stop and he also stopped, you know? Um, yeah, they, guys, and it's just amazing. Like there, you take your child there, you know, your child is safe. There is just no way. If the child is telling you something uh, that happened in daycare, you are allowed to go and tell them, Hey, it is this situation on mother's day. Oh, on mother's day, they bake a cake for the mothers and they will have some flowers like a red roses. And you can go in the morning and have tea as a mom with your child inside daycare, free of charge, everything. You don't pay for anything. You have a slice of a cake. They got some desserts. You get to eat the breakfast with your child in the morning because it's a mother's day. That's amazing. They also do it for father's day. If the father's day, it was during the week, uh, the fathers will be going to daycare. Uh, with the child in the morning and then they're gonna have the tea sometimes uh, not sometimes every time they will make the children draw cards for the mothers if it's mother's day valentine's day they will draw the card if it's a child's birthday the child would come back with something like a gift uh, something that they have been doing together in school <sighs> oh lord that's why I think I'm so blessed to be in this country. I mean, South Africa is the best country in Africa. And then I just come to Europe and, you know, I just, I love Finland. I love Finland and I love their system and everything that um, they offer. I'm trying to think of other stuff, but yeah, they would send you cards. They, they, they make their children make the cards for Mother's Day and they are just there. You also have to, let's say for an example, in the morning, you also have to leave some clothes for the child to change in daycare, just in case, you know you um forgot but if you forgot to put like now it's 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 cold outside and you forget to put the head on your child they could extra heads they would give the child when you are coming they will remind you would say hey parent you forgot to give him the head so we kind of like did take um our head and gave him and then you have to give it back and then you just they are like that. Most of the things you are involved as a parent, they make you involved. And also, Jay, so many stuff and so many things. Eh? Uh, but yeah, it's like really detailed. <laughs> but cousin, I did say it was the morning when I made this video. I'm just trying to think. So Finland is a very good place to raise a child. Very safe a place to raise a child. They are very concerned. I mean, they, they, they are very a consent yeah they are content about kids life and they are so involved that's the word i'm looking for they are very involved so if you were thinking or you are thinking twice or you're thinking three times you should come and give your life the best life in finland 
um i mean i got nothing uh to say but good stuff and you know me i'm so guys and i'm so real with the experiences i experience in countries and i will tell you finland is just a one of the best and i'll be giving you more videos about finland since i'm in finland i was just thinking why haven't i taught you guys so many things about finland because there's so much we're gonna talk about transport food prices how you apply for a job when you are here how do you get a job and blah 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 but i love you so much thank you for being here